Sheepy's Midnight Snack, written by Tony Santo Mac and Luz Maria Mac. Dedication. Thank you, Daddy, for helping me take care of Sheepy and get him all the burgers he can possibly eat. Sheepy was so hungry he couldn't get to sleep. All he could think of was yummy hamburgers and how much he could eat. He climbed up out of bed and sneaked out of the house on his little tippy toes, quiet as a mouse. Santo searched every room quietly. Where could Sheepy be? He searched quietly so that he didn't wake his sleeping family. But Sheepy was not home. He slipped out in the dark, wandering the neighborhood and even to the park. Sheepy loved to eat hamburgers. Feeding him was tough. No matter how much he ate, he couldn't get enough. Santo had to find his friend, no matter what. He knew that Sheepy was out looking for burgers. He could feel it in his gut. It was not safe for a little sheepy to be roaming around so late at night. He searched the neighborhood, and he didn't want sheepy getting lost and out of sight. Santo dressed in his warm clothes, gloves, and hat. He needed to find sheepy quickly and bring him back. Sheepy searched for burgers everywhere he went. He sniffed around to see if he can pick up the burger scent. He searched the building in front of his house, where he knew other children lived, but he found no burgers there. What it gives? Sheepy kept looking for burgers, but it was hard to see in the dark. All he saw was a stray dog that barked. Sheepy spotted a local deli and thought, "I bet you I could find burgers here." He began to imagine all the burgers, and that made him cheer. Sheepy filled his arms with as many burgers as he could carry. His heart was so overjoyed and merry. Sheepy was on his way back home when he saw Santo. Sheepy whispered in Santo's ear, "Oh, good! And now you're here. Can you help me carry these goodies?" But Santo said, "No, stealing's wrong. There are no free snacks. You must pay for what you want. We need to take those burgers back. If you, if you all make them or buy them, if need be." If you steal them, we'll be punished, and we don't want that, do we? Sheepy just looked very sad, but did what Santo asked. He returned the burgers, and they went home. The sun had begun rising when they arrived back home. The rest of the family were waking up and didn't know they were gone. Santo grabs Sheepy and says, "I'll make us breakfast." When he served burgers all around, the family gave him funny looks. But Sheepy was happy and thanked the cook. Author's note: Tony continues to share new adventures for his stuffed animal Sheepy. One day, Tony shares that Sheepy is obsessed with burgers, and keeping him full was quite a challenge. It was pretty funny how he made sure Sheepy was fed and didn't get himself into trouble. His dedication to making sure Sheepy had all the burgers he needed inspired this story because his bestest friend was just too cute of a Sheepy not to take care of. <laughs>